Greetings. My name is Paul, and I am the uh, lead research technician here at the Ohio Linux Research Labs, and I'm also the administrator of the Pop OS Linux Facebook group on Facebook. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install the pCloud desktop client on Pop OS Linux 22.04. Okay, let's get started. Okay, here's my Pop installation here. Here's my fast fetch screen to show that I'm actually in a pop session, pop OS 22.04, and I'm going to install the pCloud desktop client here on this pop installation. Okay? So let me just show you that it's not already installed, so that when we're done, it'll be here. Just want to show, just want to show you right now that it's not actually installed yet. So we'll look in the uh We'll look in the application drawer here, and you can see there's nothing here, nothing here for uh, pCloud, nothing here, and there's nothing here either. Take a quick little look here. Yeah, it would be in this area here, I do believe. Okay, so it's not here, and uh, you can see it's not here either. It'll be an app image file once it's done downloading. Okay, it's not here in the download folder, and don't really need to show the download folder but uh, show it anyway and it's not here as well nothing to do with um, pCloud here and when, when we're done downloading it it'll be here it'll be populated into the download folders okay now uh, what is pCloud well it, you know it's it's a secure popular cloud storage service and you could you know uh, manage your files and data in the cloud and what we're going to do here is uh, install a desktop client so you don't necessarily have to go to the website so we're going to download and install the desktop client via the app image installer onto pop okay so like I said it's a cloud storage service that allows you the user to store files online and access them from any device with an internet connection and uh, pCloud's been around for about 10-11 uh, years now I, th I believe it was launched in about 2013 and um, I haven't heard too much about it myself, but um, apparently it's uh, gained um, some popularity uh, due to its ease of use, uh, strong security, and uh, flexibility. And it is cross-platform. You can actually run it on Windows and Mac, iOS and Android as well. Okay, so, so the next step is um, we're going to go ahead and install it. And it's going to be, we're going to download the... Um, the installation file for pCloud, which is going to be in, in, in app image format from their um, from their website, from the pCloud website. And we're going to save it, we're going to make it executable, and then we're going to go ahead and launch it. Show you how to launch it GUI-wise, and at the end of the video, I'll try to put it on the path to see if we can launch it from, from the command line as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, pop open the browser here. Now, I've already got a, P, uh, a P Cloud account. I'm already logged into my into my um, online storage account here. Okay, so what's going to happen is the desktop client we're going to install is going to be kind of um, a go between between your local desktop and this remote um, this remote um, storage uh, site here for P Cloud. So local on your local system, and then the, the remote um, the remote server here okay so when you're on this page here you can go to down well, once you log in and you log into your your uh, your dashboard here into your drive you can go click on download here and it'll bring you here and this is what we want we want pCloud for Linux okay I'm not gonna do the CLI client I'm gonna do the GUI client okay I will try to launch it from the GUI I mean from the command line but we're going to try to launch the GUI from the command line. I don't want to actually deal with pure CLI client at this moment. Okay? Okay, so my version is going to be, and probably yours too. I don't know if anybody's using 32-bit uh, much these days. So I'm going to go ahead and choose 64-bit. And then, looks like it already started the download here. Oh, yeah, another thing I was going to mention was that on POP, on mine anyway, I already had this one dependency already installed. So on your pop, you should already have the needed dependency installed. Just one, I think. 
And if not, there's instructions here on, on how to um, add whatever repo you need to add if, to your sources list if you don't already have it. And then you can uh, use APT to install that particular package here, which is libfuse2. Uh, and mine is already there. I don't think I added it, so it should already be on yours as well. Okay, that downloaded, that finished downloading. Okay, let's take a look at it real quick here. We can open this up. Okay, that looks good. Okay. And then uh, we don't need to go through all the um, all the instructions here. I, I'll, I'll show you how to do it. So we downloaded. Now we're going to make it executable, and then we're going to go ahead and um, and we're going to go ahead and run it. Okay. Like I said before, you're also going to have to have a P Cloud account. So make sure you do that before you do anything else. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can spot it here. I don't know if it'll be in the GUI folder here in the in the application drawer. Take a quick little look here. Okay, nothing there. Nothing here for pCloud. I don't think anything's going to be in there. And is there anything here for pCloud? No, doesn't look like it. Okay, so it'll be in the download folder. Okay, so you can see here that it out. Let's see. Okay, here it is right here. Okay, in the file manager. And if you go in back into the um, download folder in the kernel, I mean in the um, in the terminal here, and let me go ahead and do another LSA on this one, and it should refresh and show the. Okay, here it is right here. Now, just by looking at it, you wouldn't really be able to tell what kind of file type it is. Let's just see what it, what what it is real quick here. Let's use the file command. Pass that file in, and let's see if it says anything is specifically about app image. No, just let's see executable. Yeah, it's kind of. It doesn't really say per se that it's um that it's an app image file here. Okay, now you see it's black here. Once we're done making it executable, this should turn green. Okay, so there was nothing conclusive in there about it being an app image, but in the file manager itself, if you right click on it, let's see what the property says. Uh right here app image so if you want verification of what kind of file it is you need to go right click on it in the um, in the GUI file manager here okay so the pCloud app image application okay good alright so we're gonna right click on the permissions read write is good for that for the uh, for the owner and then for the group Paul read and write and then for others read only okay that this is what the way you want it here and then go ahead and tick the um, the box to allow this File to be executed as a program. Okay, we're done there. Pretty, pretty simple. Okay, then all we have to really do is just double click it here. Okay, let's see what happens here. Take a couple of moments to initialize. All right, I'm not going to go ahead and you know get into all the ins and outs of um, how to you know use it on your desktop to sync with your your um, your remote um, P Cloud account. But you get the idea. Once you've installed it, then you can go ahead through the documentation or just uh, click around and try to, you know, get familiar with how to use it. Or you might even know how to use it right off the bat, you know. Otherwise, yeah, you just sign into your account here and then just start syncing your um, your files and folders between your local pop installation and in the remote uh, pCloud drive ser um, uh, server. So that, that was how to launch it that way. I'm going to go ahead and click out of there. And that's pretty much how to that's pretty much how to do it from here in the download folder here. Um, you might also be able to let's see if we can go ahead and copy from there and put it into our. I don't know if you can do that. No, you can't really do that. Okay, so you can't do that. It doesn't look like. I'm not sure if there's a way to do that or not. I'd have to look into that. I haven't done that too much to be to be honest. But if I can't copy and paste it into into here, I'd have to refresh myself on how to move it from a download folder into the application folder. I'm not going to get into that right now. Just come into your download folder here and double click it from there. Okay. So that was pretty much how to pretty much how to the only way to really ins um, to launch it. One more way is to see if we can put it on the path 
and then see if we can launch it from the terminal. Okay, so to do that, let's go back to to our home here. Let's echo out let's echo out the paths in our path variable. I'm just gonna pick one. I usually just go with bin here. Anywhere where kind of a, a program might might live. You know, it might be able to go into any of these actually, but I'm just gonna put it where I think it might go. Don't think it'll cause any harm. It's more for or, 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 you know organizational purposes to put it where it should be. But since it's not put anywhere by default, you got to figure out where to put it. I'm just going to put it in, uh, in the bin path here. So this bin path here is on the path variable. So I don't have to add it to the bash RC file and then source it and re-log in. This path is already on the path. So if I just put stuff in here, then I should be able to just go ahead and use it without having to reboot, log in, or uh, source um, source the bash RC file. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and clear out of here. Okay, see we're in the we're in the uh, the home here. Okay, I'm going to cd into back into the download folder here. Okay, it's still here. Remember, it was black before. Now it's green, which means it's executable. Okay, good. Once these files turn green, they become executable. They go from black to green. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use the copy command. And I'm going to go ahead and, let's see here, what was it? Um, pcloud, okay. I'm going to copy pcloud from this location here to that location, that, that, bin, that bin folder. And that's, I think, believe it's slash, and is it just slash bin? Let's see what that does. Okay, that looks like that went through. Okay. Let's actually CD into the bin folder here. Okay. Okay, made a little mistake there that I should have avoided actually. It's not dot bin, it's just bin. This is the path right here. So we're going to copy from the download folder. We're going to use the copy command and we're going to move that that pcloud app image file. It's going to be left here, but we're going to copy it from from here and we're going to put a copy in this bin path here. Not dot bin, but slash bin. Okay? And then we're going to check that if it's there and then we're going to try to launch it from the command line. Okay? Do need sudo so this permission denied here is we need we need to do it in a sudo session. Okay, so sudo copy pcloud to bin. Okay, good. From download folder to the bin folder here. Okay. Okay, good. That's the way you need to do it right there. Okay. So now it's actually on the path. Let's see if it actually launches. I'm not sure if app images are. I think I tried it once before. I don't remember, but I'm not sure off the top of my head clearly if the app images can be put on the path. I think they can. Let's let's see what happens. Okay. So let's just CD into the bin folder here real quick. Actually we can um uh, yeah let's just go ahead and uh, okay we're in there now and then we can go ahead and just LS LSA on that and then just um we mouse wheel up real quick to the P's and look for um P cloud. PC, right? So let's go up to the PC here. And let's see, we're getting close. Okay, here it is right here. Okay, good. So it was copied into the bin folder and it's on the path. And the bin folder is on the path. So essentially this um this file should be on the path now. Let's let's see if we can actually launch the, the app image from from the from the terminal now, okay? So we'll come back down here. See you out of there, back to home. Okay, clear on that, and then of course, if you go into the um, GUI file manager, you should be able to spot it here as well. Let's see if we can find pcloud. It should be here, and this is kind of redundant, really, to be honest. Just want to take a quick little look and see if pcloud is that. Yeah, right here. Okay, so here it is, right here. Okay, so we're good there. We're done with all that. Let's just see. Normally, if you put um. A binary on the path variable, you have to source the bash RC file or whatever other file you're manually adding the path to. 
But since Ben is already on the path, then we just have to move that app image file into the path, into the uh, the bin folder, and we should be good to go. We don't have to source it or log out or anything like that. So let's just see what happens. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and, and assume that we could launch it from the path. If we can, that it would be with this keyword here, pcloud. Let's see what happens. Okay, that looks like it's actually going to work. Okay, that was great. So pcloud is actually the keyword to launch it. Okay, that was good. All right. So you can put the app image files on the path variable, or you can put it into a folder which is on the path variable. So essentially, you know, as long as you, so you can't put app image onto the path and launch it from the from the terminal. Okay, okay, that was good. Okay, then you just sign in and you know you do your thing. Um, I'll post I'll post the uh, the link for the P Cloud um, uh, website so you can um, get familiar with the, their documentation and how to use it. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, click off on that. Don't forget, make sure you uh, you make you um, create a pcloud account. Okay. So yeah, that was how to you know. Do I want to quit? Yes. Okay. So that was good. That was how to launch it from the terminal. And like I said, I'm not sure if I can move that into the um, application folder to do it that way, but I'll try that later on my own. And then okay. So in, in other words, so in, in the meantime, the two ways to do it would be. From the from the um, your download folder here, just download this, or you can move this somewhere maybe onto your desktop, or make a desktop uh, shortcut, or try to put this into um, you know make a launcher for the desktop. And I don't want to get into all the ins and outs of doing that right now. Or you can move this into a into the application folder here. But in in lieu of all that, just download, just um, make it uh, executable here, and then double click that. Or actually, not that one. This one. Right here. I'm not sure where this one came from. Need to look into that now with the P Cloud one, okay, and from your download folder, okay, or you know put it on the path like I just um, put it you know in, into a folder that's on your path variable and then launch it with this keyword here P Cloud, and, th and that was it. So two ways of at least two ways of launching it, okay, okay. So that's about it. Um, then go back and um, close out the video with my fast fetch screen here. I'm in a pop session. Okay, pop twenty two oh four. Okay, so that was how to install the P Cloud desktop client for Linux on Pop OS Linux twenty two point zero four. Okay, so once again I am Paul and I am the um the lead research technician here at the How to Linux Research Labs and I'm also the Facebook I'm also the administrator of, of the uh, Pop OS Linux Facebook group on Facebook and I hope you, you join my group. Even if you don't use Pop you can still join. We talk about all kinds of different distros. Uh, before I close out, I'd like to you know, um, ask you to uh, like, comment, and subscribe on the video. And until my next video, uh, happy Linuxing.